welcome to my video. A question was asked on the Hornby forum last night. Um, does anybody still keep their boxes for their railway bits and pieces like for the trains, carriages, etc.? And quite a lot of people admitted they do, so I thought that gave me an idea, so I thought I'd go through all my boxes, what I've got. I'm going to start off in my railroad section. Um, I think with railroad, that is uh, Hornby's less expensive versions of the trains. Uh, this is um, for my R306 for BR Black 00 Smoky Joe. Uh, this one is for my R forty three twelve Pullman parlor car. It's basically yeah, it's a carriage. Um, this one is for my uh, R thirty two eighty eight. I think that says um, BR class nine F Evening Star. Uh, that's like for all my steam engines. This one I must have got from a shop because it's got a price tag of £20 on it, which is, uh, I think I got this one in Matlock, shop in Matlock, I think, I can't exactly remember, but this is for my R6631 breakdown crane. This is another one I got from a shop. I think that I got this one from um, a shop in Buxton. This is from my uh, R3060 Tornado BR Class A1. Now these two next two boxes, if you join up with uh, Hornby with their club, um, they give you a free loco. So this one here, you can see that's for Hornby Collectors Club Loco in the, in the year 2013, which is a Southern Rail 00 and number R3213. Um, this was another one for the Hornby Collectors Club. Um, it says Dear member, with compliments, thank you for renewing your membership to the Hornby Collectors Club. Please find your membership pack. Regards, Alex McKenzie. Uh, um, I think that that was a, like a similar loco to um, to that one. It's a, a four zero four. Sorry, zero four zero. That's those ones. Next, we go to uh, uh, Thomas and Tank Engine, but this actually wasn't um, a Thomas and Tank Engine. Uh, this was actually James the the Red Engine. Ah, uh, ninety two ninety, I think that says. And, uh, that, so that was um, not not Thomas, but that was for James. And then that was just like a, a coach for it. Um, James, James's brake coach that says on the side. Ah, uh, ninety-two, ninety-six. I think that one says. This is one I got um, in a sale many years ago, I think, from the same shop in Matlock. It was £47, and it was now £35. It was now. It's for the uh, R4425 Pullman third class brake car SS. Um, it's for, it's for uh, another carriage. This is for another one of the shops I went to. 
Buxton I think it was uh, this was for our 4661 all steel K type Pullman third class parlour class number 73 and that was um, was £49.99 and got reduced down to £44.50 this is where it gets a bit more exciting <laughs> um, I got this as you can see it is the S and D JR 440 Fowler class 2P44 uh, steam locomotive And you just pulled it open and, you, and it was inside. It's a quite a snazzy box. Um, like tells you, uh, oh look, and it cost me 2p. <laughs> no, not really. I wish. Um, there are R3316S and D JR. 440 class 2P Fowler locomotive and, and that stands for Somerset and Dorset Joint Railway however once what however once the NMS assumed and it's got like a little diagram of it there and it's like a top view there so that's very well presented and with lots of information. This is my little accessory section, if you like. Um, the controller. Uh, number, and it says train controller R. And it says 80, 80 to 50. Really, I don't know. I find it very difficult to read. And I like to do really small print. So that's for the controller. Now this is going back a very long time. As you can see, it says Hongvi Railways. I don't think they call themselves that anymore. I'm not quite. I mean, I've. It says R four oh six. I um, coloured light signals. I think they do still do kind of like signals, but I think the number has changed. Um, that the shop in Hempstead cost uh, six eighty five. I'm sure it'd be more than that nowadays, but that was like, over twenty years ago. Um, this is for an accessory pack R five seventy four trackside accessories. I think it's just like it was just like for signs. Um, I can't remember what else was in there, but it's just I think maybe a few people fell the bits and pieces as well. I think maybe some wheels, maybe I can't remember. Uh, oh yeah, so I've got this. This is a hydraulic buffer stop. Can't see an R number on here anywhere. Oh yeah, R. Thirty-nine four, three. And I'll do that again. Ah, uh, three nine four. Only six pounds. Now here's my uh, scale Dale section. Only got three buildings. Um, an LMS signal box. Uh, this was a shop in Buxton. Uh, Apple Yards and Sons, I think it's called. Uh, £22.99. And a few other bits and pieces you can go say, like, change you what, all the views uh, back view, front view, side view, and then front side view, back side view, or left hand side, right hand side, whichever way you want to look at it. Uh, great northern scale 
Regis engine shed. R ninety six thirty seven. There are some more views of it. Uh, those side views. Um, and those doors on the back don't actually open or close. They're so this permanently glued together. If you like, you can't actually open. But on the front, you can, and these doors do actually open. So you can't really use it as a tunnel. So you can only train can only go through this way, not through that way. And then these are like side views. Um, what I do like these, um, how they, uh, again, um, I'll go back to the signal box. Uh, they've got the actual model, but they're super You can actually tell it's been super imposed. I took, took a picture of a railway line siding and they superimposed the actual signal box to make it look more real. Again, they've done that, and they've maybe got some sidings there, and they put, so when they took the photograph, there's so obviously there was nothing there, but they've superimposed the, the engine shed there. Okay, just before I go on to the traction shed, I want to quickly update on this. Uh, I've checked the Hornby website, and amazingly enough, RO, 406 still set the same number for the colour light signals. The only thing is they're now priced at 9.99, so that's a really old. So 6.85 is the wrong price now. As I said, they're now 9.99. And one that I've got got red at the top. They're only still two colours. My one had red at the top and green at the bottom. But the one on the Hornby website, the red lights on the bottom, green lights at the top. I don't know why this changed around the colours. I don't know why, but that's how it is now. Okay, now I'm going on to the traction shed. This is the traction shed. Um, as you can see, what they've also superimposed it. They've got the actual traction shed and superimposed it onto the, the sidings there. Um, just to tell you about these shutters, they're not real shutters. I mean, it looks like they're these shutters go up and down, but they're not. They're just if like just there for look that's all as you can see they don't go up and down um, and they're not real shutters so that's how it is and you've got like a look at so there's like fake shutters if you like and a fake drain pipe there uh, that's it on the side and the picture on this side there uh, so so you can see it's a bit like a small tunnel really like the side, like front and back view, um, that's what it looks like on the side. Um, these are the detail scale model for adult collection. Scale models not designed for intended for play. Colours and contents may vary from those illustrated. Please train these details and choice for future reference. Oh, and uh, this is um, R9679. So that's the traction shed. Um, okay, so let's now go on to my train sets. This is my British Pullman Venice Simpson Oriental Express. Um, it's got the track mat there. Um, got three carriages, the engine there, uh, you've got two long straights, uh, I think two half straights, one powerpoint and controller, um, powerpoint where it fits in the wall. Interesting enough, they don't show you a wire going from the controller to the power track, and I think that's eight. Curves radius two, if I remember correctly, or it could be three, I can't remember two or three. Uh, this is R1162. There's nothing on the back, it's just 
so it's the same pitch all the way around basically. Uh, a bit of info on there. Really small lighting. So that's my VSOE. This is my Flying Scotsman. Uh, 140 pounds. Little price tag there. I got this. I can't remember which shop I got this in. It's either in a shop in Chesterfield or Buxton. I can't remember which. Um, again, you've got the. Oh, and this is number R1152. And that's the track map there. This time I only got two carriages, LNER carriages, um, and it's the same amount of, with uh, about, maybe except from one or two. Basically, the track will always be the same. Oh, I forgot to mention the, the points and the buffer um, in the, in, on the uh, British Pullman, but you always get exactly the same. Like you get the radius. Um, eight radius of track. There's two straights, one little straight, and a little curve straight there, and power track there. And then they'll the, the, tell you a bit about it there. And then this will tell you um, a bit about it. All right, you can get accessory pack one. Like station, accessory pack two, like like all like other bits you can get, like some more buildings. Um, accessory accessory pack three, so like another station. Um, accessory pack five is the uh, signal box and the engine shed with a signal. And then, don't know why they went to one, two, three, five, and four, but you've got um, another little shed, another little building there, with other bits and pieces, and it's just basically um, explore your layout in these easy stages. So it's just basically showing you how to do it. So that's my flying Scotsman. This set contains the starter oval pack plus a general track pack A, providing you with sidings. This is um, my Hornby Night Mail. Again, got it, they're all pretty standard um, with Hornby. Um, you've always got your track map. This is number R1144. Again, well, you only got one loco. You've got one carriage and you've got the, the night mail, right? Royal mail or something. And then you've got, as this is the Royal, the, oh, this is LMS, uh, as you can see. And you've got the special, um, as, you can, as, it's, as you can see in the picture, you can actually pick up mail as it moves along. And it's got a special carriage, you see. And then you've got, all, and again, you've got all the same track. And this, my catching 0600 locomotive, but a TPO travelling post office support brake coach. And that projects from the coach to scoop the mail bag from the track side pickup hook. The bag is then automatically ejected into the track side, clean bin at the place of delivery. This. That also includes a mid mat as an oval track that with siding mat which can be extended using the track pack available separated. So all the way round as per usual, it's just it's all the same. And then and then again, you've got extend uh, how you lay out in these easy stages. Um, so so I mean they, they've got two types track mats. Um, when you get if you want to do it. And 
uh, it gets more slightly a bit more complicated with the uh, you've got more sidings and the, these two Gloucester of the City Foreman and the Martha of the Glens I bought them both at the same time and got delivered to me at the same time so I'll go with them both uh, this is a Duke of Gloucester this um, R1177 um, this is a 462 engine which means there's four wheels at the front those are the driving wheels and two wheels at the back um, so you've got uh, a trap mat which is uh, 1600 millimeters by 1180 millimeters starter oval pack plus track pack A which is as I said it's pretty standard with uh, Hornby uh, you have got the Duke of Gloucester engine there with three carriages and the usual oval track uh, and a bit of info there Duke of Gloucester Pacific Locomotive heads up this new inspiring train set with the three Pullman cars making a fair representation of the, of the steam train special excursions that are so popular amongst the, those who wish to rekindle memories of the hardy days in orbital train travel uh, and again it's all the same got the same pitch all the way around and again it's got the uh, track mat expand your layout in these these stages and it's the same okay I've just checked um, I've noticed on um, in this photo that looks like an LNER flying Scotsman now, I think that's a, a Eurostar there okay, so let's move on to my next one this is Martha of the Glens um, that's the uh, <laughs> it sound, might sound a bit of uh, a bit rude there's cock o the north this engine is called there you go cock o the north that's what they've called it and um, this is a um, two eight two by the looks of it I mean there's two wheels at the front eight driving wheels and two at the back um, again got track mat and the standard um, track arrangement this model LNR cop over the north locomotive and simulated teak coaches included in this set help to capture those exciting days of trains travelled in the 1930s the train such ones departed in this set would cut through the Scottish countryside and without question and would be the master of the glens. Um, again, same pitch all the way round. Master of the Glen is the same picture and the, and of course uh, oh, this one has a Diff uh, this has the more ex um, bit complicated track mat uh, like this ha uh, again I think that's the Flying Scotsman and the Eurostar but um, it has a, li a little chunter there on the side um, it's got two controllers there I'll just quickly show you the difference See, so that's a that's the more the simpler one track mat. Now you can see how it's got more more buildings, got more sidings. So it's got more bits and pieces on it, basically. So this one's basically showing you more. And this is my latest edition. 
is the Mallard limited edition 1938 to 1918 80th anniversary of the steam traction world record of the world steam speed record gold plated 18 carat metal parts and then you open it up got the same thing is but it's more nice might nice and then you open it up and then you've got like this certificate of authenticity um, and then you've got um, it's got an interview with Joe Dudson Dunnington sorry drive the 4468 Mallard I'll just quick go through the interview with her. so I can't quite do his voice but it says with my lovely blue steam 9 engine Mallard we drew away from Grantham I accelerated up the bank to State Stoke Summit and passed Stoke Bar at 85. Once over the top, I gave Mallard her head and just just jumped it like a knife thing. Then 108, 109, 110. Go on, go. I thought you can do better than this. So I nursed her and shot through. Little Bayanth at 123, and the next one and a quarter of a mile, the needle crept up further 123 and a half, 124, 125, and then for a quarter of a mile, then they tell me folks that the car had held their breath at 126. 126, what was, was that the fastest speed? A stream locomotive has ever been driven in the world. So that was back in 1944 for a BBC interview. So that's quite something special. Uh, now, talking of going back in time, I'm going to show you now something what started this all off. I think I was about eight years old. My dad bought me my first three sets. This is a, as you can see, BR mixed freight train set. Uh, contents locomotive uh, A, 1A dash A, TA class 31 stroke diesel. Wagon to one, low mat with load, two ventilated goods vans. Track, eight double curves with power clip. Battery controls, two speed reversible, batteries not included. <laughs> they always say that one. Buy something with batteries, it always says batteries not included. So this is Airfix. 15 pounds 50 pence. I don't think uh, that's what the price tag is up in the top right hand corner there. Don't think you can buy them for that much. I wish I wish they were. We've got about £150 if you bought something like this now. I'll quickly show you inside. Um, this is I'll just keep spare track in here. Uh, you've got in this one it says battery controller, two speed, forward and reverse, uh, BR12 ton ventilated box wagon. Uh, this one is track. And actually tracking it and uh, that one was the BR 12 ton ventilated box wagon that is uh, this is the actual locomotive itself A1A dash A1A class 31 dash 1 diesel locomotive BR green livery and then this is the uh, 25 ton low mac machine wagon with load. So this is Airfix. Uh, I don't think Airfix do railways anymore. I think they're more planes now these days. But double O scale. Uh, it's just 
No, it's, it's an oval track. You don't even get any signs of it. It's just going okay, round and round circles. This basically tells you everything. There's nothing on the back. Uh, just telling pictures of what it is like. Oh, this is my, my favourite. Even though I'm into steam engines, I like, I like this because I like the drawing on that. Very good. And then the other two train sets my dad got me. Lima. Just to show you because there's no paint, no pictures whatsoever. I only put this for illustration. You get a diesel, which is uh, a blue diesel. It says D2785. This is, look, this is Lima HO scale, which is the same thing as double O scale. So on, on the airfix, um, it says um, OO scale, which is Hornby double O scale. I'll just quickly show you. See, double O gorge track set gauge. Shot. Say. Anyway, uh, so that that's the locomotive, and then you get a, a green BP wagon. Uh, then you get a Coca Cola. It's, it's not very watertight. I can remember once I wanted if you guys fill it up with Coca Cola, but I tried it with water once and it just leaked out everywhere. So they're not very water. And then you've got a Schweppes Tonic London Cabbage Schweppes Limited, it says on there. And I think it even says Italy. Yeah, yeah. Very faintly it says Lima, Italy. So Lima is a, um, Italian. And then inside, I mean, now I'll just show you the. It's just. Now it says made in Italy there. There's a warning do not display in direct sunlight and it says it written one, two, three, four, five languages, so there's a number there, four six one four dash space A. Um so there's not so there's no pictures. I mean so so that, that went there. And that went there, maybe. That went there. And that went there. Oh, wheel's fallen off. And then I think there uh, you tra you had your track there, and you had a battery controller there. Oh, that is the same as the last one. You just saw. Again. You've got the, the uh, BR. You've got the Coca-Cola. Got the sweeps, the BP. There you go, BP. And then open it up. Very 1970s. Made the colour very orangey brown. I don't think Lima. I think they've changed their um, logo. Got like an arrow thing. Let me just quickly show you that again. You, you would have got the, where the uh, these have gone, and then that would have gone there, that would have gone there, and then that would have gone there. Again, you would have had the battery power point there, and then the track goes there. And as you can see, I was, I'm just using it to um, keep spare track. I'll just show you. I think that's Lima's new. Uh, it's more of a big L for Lima now. I think they've updated their logo. Anyway, uh, this is my my last section now. Um, this is what I call my off Hornby section. These are just a few bits and pieces which I've got, and which are non Hornby. Uh, this is my Batchman, my only Batchman. By the way, Midland Compound 1000 class. Uh, it's from the 
National Railway Museum in York. Uh, 31-930 NRM again stands for the National Railway Museum Midland Company 1000 produced exclusively for the National Railway Museum so I do believe that them which is still there oh no, no, no they actually moved it to the Round House in Chesterfield this is where I, I didn't actually go to the, the NRM to get this I got this actually at the round house in Chesterfield about two years ago I think it was so you just opened it up and the train was inside um, a bit about brief history Britain compound 1000 class was a passion steam locomotive designed by Samuel Wright Johnson chief medical engineer of the Midland Railway I won't read it all uh, they were developed from a branch of five batch of, of five locomotives introduced in 1902 a variety of interesting features three cylinder compound design with one high pressure inside cylinder and two low pressure cylinder cylinders uh, authentic detailed model um, so that's basically the box for the Midland compound and then years and years ago it's just for a coach um, I don't know if Mainline still exists today uh, Mainline Railways, authentic double A model so it's, just, so it's just that basically nice black with red and yellow nice little box that and then lastly uh, this, this is for a, a coal Um, just just for um, Carl Wagon authentic 176 scale model which cost me 995 um, double O gauge just a quick blue box so that's all my boxes uh, so ma mainly it's all uh, Hornby as you can see everything's from Hornby so just quickly that's where I've put my boxes all my boxes there <laughs> big fan of Hornby can't deny it I like Hornby I've done their website their form yeah so join you can join up to the website for free and go on their Hornby forum if you've got any questions to ask, not sure about anything, just go on to it and then there's some lovely people there who help you out. So I hope you enjoy my video about my boxes. I hope you didn't find it too boring but a little bit more interesting. All the very colourful boxes. Um, so I'll see you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Uh, see you in my next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you. Bye.